But hello, Capricorn, Cappy, Cappy, Cappies. This is Ascended Twin. How are you guys? Family, y'all know time is fluid. So this is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every Capricorn. Time is fluid. So this could be past, present, and future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them. Same-sex relationships as well as divine counterparts. Anytime you were guided to my channels, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive a message. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate, check your moon, check your rising family. I happen to be a future forward predictor so I can be ahead of schedule of what's going on in your life. Also, if it still does not resonate for you, but you know someone else that it does, send them here, family, whether they're a co-worker, a boss, a family member, a church goer, whatever. Uh, send them here so they can receive the messages. If it still doesn't resonate, I'm just not your reader. But thank you to each and every last one of you who has subscribed to the channel, whether you're old or new. Thank y'all so much. Um, for those of you who have subscribed, who have booked readings with me, who have donated, whether it's your love, your finances, or your energetic support, thank you so much, guys, for sharing your journeys with me and allowing me to share my journeys with you. Ooh, shit. Capricorns. Some of y'all have been... Wow. Ooh. Let's check over here and see what's going on. Ooh, okay. Capricorns, there's somebody here that's still a little childish. This is either you or your person. Some of y'all got new love coming in, but it's not stable. This person is still a player. Some of you, this is a player that you've been with for seven years. Some of you could be married to this person. Some of you could be in a, a long-term committed relationship. But this person runs in and out of your life. Or either you do this to someone. In Capricorn, you either pissed off with somebody. Somebody here could be 23. Some of you, um, you could have been going through a 10-year cycle of karma. Saturn return. Some of y'all, y'all Saturn return could be in Capricorn or uh, a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but there's been some betrayal here with a magician a Aries Gemini Virgo somebody here this was the ultimate betrayal somebody here has been hiding their emotions and they have also been using dark magic you need to listen to your uh, third eye and listen to your intuition about your masculine somebody here that's real passionate but they have a fiery ass temper. They could have Aries Scorpio in their chart. Somebody here is also going to get a marriage that brings high honor. Somebody here or there is a marriage. The integrity of this marriage is in, somebody here is concerned about this marriage. There's somebody here that's either waiting or expecting. Expecting a baby. Somebody might reach out to you. This is either you, Capricorn, or somebody that you've been dealing with. First card out is your strongest energy, Capricorn. What is the message? There you are, showing up in your own damn reading. I got Capricorn here twice. Capricorn, you could be motherfucking mad as I'll get out to goddamn B. Somebody here caught an STD. It could be you and another person. Somebody here definitely got hurt in this situation. Somebody here... Yeah, it's STDs growing all over the motherfucking place. Mm -hmm. And there was an ending. So some of you have dealt with somebody that has pissed you off because they gave you an STD. You and this person both have an STD. Somebody here definitely was doing some toxic uh, things. Somebody here could caught herpes. Somebody here could have uh, chlamydia or gonorrhea. Somebody burning. Somebody got the clap. Somebody here could be waiting for test results. About an STD. I can't make this the fuck up. Somebody here is waiting to get the test results for an STD. That's one situation here. Somebody here is also bound and chained to their addictions, codependencies. This person is in a lot of pain. They're very guarded. They're very defensive. Somebody here, there's a wounded healer. Somebody here also needs to end something and lay it to rest. Somebody here could also have laid someone to rest. That's had some type of head trauma. Somebody here could have um, passed 
in a coma for somebody here. My condolences. Somebody here transitioned too. May they rest in power. Um, there's also someone here has been waiting for success with a, pa a lot of passion for a love relationship. Somebody here could also be waiting to see um, if a child is theirs as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit, before they get married to this person. Somebody here that you want to move forward with from a bad situation to calmer waters. Somebody here is indecisive. Somebody here is not sure about an empress, an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Libra. Or somebody here is not sure who the father of the baby is. Somebody walked away. Somebody here was hiding a lover and hiding a pregnancy. Some of y'all here, there's also a love offer you need to listen to your intuition about. Somebody here got their mistress pregnant as well you could be dealing with another capricorn aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius what else is here somebody here got betrayed and it's the ultimate betrayal this is either you capricorn or another person i heard family member oh shit somebody here is resting and recovering and recuperating thank you holy spirit from somebody that was a liar a deceiver somebody deliberately kept you stuck and somebody here was trying to win by all means necessary. And there was a motherfucking tower. Aries Scorpio energy like I said before. There it is. Somebody here sabotaged somebody's leap of faith. Or somebody sabotaged somebody and betrayed them. They did something foolish. And somebody here is trying to tame their temper and block somebody. Somebody here could be trying to block somebody's intuition from the truth. About a situation at a distance with somebody that they love, but there was a one-sided situation because of a third party. Somebody here is now looking at somebody where they made the wrong choice. Somebody here wants to end a third party situation where there's ultimate betrayal. And these niggas is motherfucking fighting with multiple people. So, and I see an Aquarius back here in the background. So there could be an Aquarius here. Somebody here, there's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of pettiness. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of gossip, slander, chaos, defamation of character. All kinds of bullshit is here. Somebody here definitely God stepped in because somebody here was trying to do it by all means necessary. Somebody tried to keep somebody stuck in an abusive toxic codependent relationship somebody here deliberately destroyed this relationship all behind their fears and insecurities what else is here holy spirit you could be dealing with somebody that has uh gemini libra aquarius twice in their chart god damn three of swords four of swords seven of swords so somebody here has been betrayed more than once multiple motherfucking times strong gemini and somebody here is selfish somebody here got sugar booger problems Somebody here likes to snort cocaine. That's not for all of you. Only take what resonates is your story. Somebody here likes to party a lot. Somebody here likes to drink a lot. This motherfucker is selfish. They don't give a fuck about somebody else's uh, wish fulfillment. Somebody is healing from somebody that broke their heart and lied to them. A liar, deceiver, a decepticon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody here is receiving some kind of ju judgment. Somebody here could also... Um, be receiving karma for holding on to a situation that was supposed to end. Taurus, Scorpio, I mean Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, North and South nodes in order to have a new beginning with another soulmate. Past life soulmate you're supposed to take a leap of faith in. Somebody here is, has hidden emotions or somebody needs to listen to their intuition because somebody is hiding the truth about a family situation. Justice is being served. So there could be some legal situations with a family and somebody is about to be left out in the cold. There's some type of illumination here about somebody's destiny that brings them the Ten of Cups. There's a love offer coming in from a King of Pentacles, but he could be flighty, inconsistent, unstable. The worst type of liar. Promises you everything but delivers nothing. And I see the Queen of Pentacles back here. Somebody here, they have a child and they're a single mother, single father. Doing it all by themselves. I also saw here too. How do I remember this to say this? Somebody is also holding back from reconciliating with somebody that they ended it with. This could be you, Taurus. I mean, damn, there could be a Taurus here. You may have Tar Taurus somewhere prominently in your chart. But somebody here is also holding back from reconciling with somebody that betrayed them more than once. Only take what resonates is your story. I got strong air here. 
So either you did this to your person, uh, Capricorn. Spirit says, Holy Spirit says, some of y'all did this to your person. But others of you, this was done to you. Let's talk about it. So tell me, you're going to need to listen to your intuition about a divine masculine or a karmic masculine. Somebody here that blows very passionate, but they create illusions about reconciliation. This person has to surrender, re release, purge, and heal during the separation between y'all. They long for you, but this person has a lot of fears and insecurities. They need to do some inner childhood healing for, glo for growth. This person is closed off. Or either you are. Somebody is stubborn and resistant to change. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here for Capricorn? You could be dealing with another Capricorn like yourself as well for some of y'all. Somebody wants to come in and give you North Node energy. Ace of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a water sign. Somebody is releasing their fears and insecurities that kept them toxic. Somebody here that's at a distance from you. Somebody could be taking a walk on the beach or walk by a body of water, a lake, or a pond in order to gain some inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance in order how to communicate to their divine masculine or feminine. But this is the divine masculine, their Jupiter energy. Your divine masculine has to find the courage in order to take action, to have a new beginning. This person regrets how they hurt you. They lied to you. They deceived you. Whether they stole money, time, love, or energy, or all of the above. This motherfucker is having a breakthrough of what they did to you in the past. This person may have a lack-minded mentality. They could have been suffering. Somebody here could have also planted some seeds in the springtime. Or will plant some seeds in the springtime. And they will activate their higher self. Somebody here also could be pregnant. Or get pregnant in the springtime. So if you don't want a pregnancy or you don't want to get pregnant, strap up. Use some type of protection. There's about to be a tower moment. Somebody's going to go through an awakening. They're going to have a lot of nostalgia and they're going to think about you a lot. Or either you're going to think about somebody else a lot. You could be dealing with a fellow Capricorn. Or it could be any sign that I called out here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Capricorn. Somebody that hurts you, they're taking the mask off and they're starting to take a look at themselves and they need to. Somebody here that hurts you really bad or you hurt them. This could be, and this person is very guarded. This could be your masculine that needs to take off the mask. Somebody that you have an extreme amount of chemistry and passion with. This person wants to have a... Somebody could go through a rebirth in the wintertime. This would be your energy, uh, Capricorn. Somebody here that wants to have a renewal with you, but divine timing is at place. This person is reaping what they've sown, but this person also wants to re receive and reconcile a situation. I see... Somebody here that has a lot of attraction for you. Listen to your intuition. Some of you are going to your north node. Some of you, you could have a north node in Capricorn. Some of you could have a north node in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But somebody is breaking free of their toxic patterns that bind them. Somebody here is, um, you need to find out where your wounded Chiron is. That's your wounding in Chiron. Um, that's the wounded healer, the nine of wands. It could be in any sign. You're going to have to use a birth um, analogy a, uh, chart, a birth chart to find that out. Or you can just type it in in Google and ask. And then you'll have to put in your birth date, your birth, uh, birth information, your name, your date of birth, city, uh, country or state that you were born in. And the time of your birth, if you know it, you can go to cafeastrology.com and um, look that up and put all that information in. And then um, once you know that, you can also ask about your Chiron. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Capricorn. So your masculine or your divine masculine has a lot of wounding. They have a lot of trauma. You could have um, manifested this person into your life because you had a lot of wounding, a lot of trauma you needed to heal with. Somebody here that ended it with you, they want a reunion. Somebody here is thinking strongly about this soul tie. Somebody here also needed to break this soul tie. It could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is you. Somebody here wants to reconcile that, but they could be lying about 
this. This person could be lying because you could be receiving some type of abundance, some type of um, blessings from um, the divine himself and your ancestors, your celestial family. This could have taken place over the summer. So somebody could have been lying that they had money or abundance or either they were coming in and lying to steal from you. You could be dealing with a lying, deceptive Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is a deceiver. They're a Decepticon. You can't trust this person or they can't trust you. This person wants to keep you stuck so they can sabotage you and fuck you over. Tell me about the three of swords for uh, Capricorn. I almost said Gemini, so some of y'all could be fucking with a Gemini. Something here did um something here, it may have taken place last year where somebody here did this to you, and some or either you did this to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and broke their heart because of a third party. Somebody here is surrendering, releasing, and purging all of this heartbreak and pain. That's why the four of swords is here. Seven of Swords here. Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. So we got two sevens on the board. So that was a message that there was a tower coming your way. And I have two nines on the board. So some of y'all could be seeing 7979 or 9797 or 9977. Take it how it resonates. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. So somebody is reaping karma. Somebody here is also releasing some type of sabotage from a relationship where somebody was selfish, greedy, overindulgent. Somebody here also has a sugar booger problem. Somebody here also pops pills too. Divine timing is here for somebody to heal, restore, and um, balance their mind, body, spirit, and soul before you can have this renewal and this rebirth this winter. You and this person have a lot of chemistry and somebody wants to reconcile and come into their north node. That's either you or your person. But let's go a little deeper. Tell me about the Capricorn. Someone has hidden emotions that somebody possibly has been using dark magic in this situation on a love of a lifetime. Tell me about Capricorn. Why is Capricorn here? What was so toxic between Capricorn and this their person? Number one, there was a pregnancy scare. Number two, there was a miscarriage. Damn, my condolences, Capricorn. What else is here? So somebody here had a miscarriage. Somebody is trying to heal from that miscarriage with a with a karmic partner. Damn. Somebody here, the miscarriage could have came from a one-night stand with a water sign. Spirit says you have to protect your energy because there's a side chick that's an Aries or a Taurus, and it's a third party that they work with. Somebody that they put above you, they went on a date. Somebody here could be childhood sweethearts and there's a best friend that's an earth sign. So there could be two. Ooh, and I know somebody's situation just like this. So this is Capricorn sees. This is a Capricorn reading for sure, for sure. Yes, there is a best friend in the midst of this shit. This best friend. Ooh, wow. I'm not going to divulge all of that. But there is a best friend here that is either your best friend or your person's best friend. And they are an earth sign. Tell, and they're a Virgo to be exact. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What was the pain here that was brought by this masculine or to this masculine? Some of y'all operate out of um, masculine energy Capricorn, whether you're male or female. Somebody here... There was either somebody got hurt by somebody that said that they were a business partner and they were not because ultimately they were fucking somebody and it was a pregnancy. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius that wounded you. Somebody here that could be mentally off. Their elevator don't go all the way up. This person tells major lies about they've been fucking at a hotel. Somebody here beliefs keeps them depressed. And somebody here could be going through a divorce or a breakup. Somebody here may have said, get your shit, get your shit and get the fuck out. And they had to go stay at a hotel because somebody is getting a divorce. But somebody is internet spying on somebody where there was a death, dead end. All behind this STD and a narcissistic gold digger. There's a family member here that has a drug addiction too, Capricorn. So you're pissed off about a lot of things here, Capricorn. Or either somebody is pissed off with you about a lot of things. Tell me about the Four of Swords. What is the Four of Swords healing? Somebody here, there was no horrible sex. The sex could have been really great because I saw a lot of chemistry and passion here. 
But somebody here may not be having sex at this present time. What else? Somebody here ended passionate lovemaking with a fire sign. Somebody here is resting and healing and recuperating from possibly a fire sign or, yeah, a side dude. So there could be, I'm picking up for some of y'all, this is a, a open marriage, an open relationship. This is also polyamory, swinging, that type shit. Somebody here has a sex addiction. They could be also healing from a sex addiction. I told you the sex isn't horrible. There's a lot of passionate lovemaking. That might have been what manifested, uh, brought you two together. Somebody here could have been using air, uh, candle magic. If you saw pink, red candles, somebody here could have been using candle magic to keep you in a marriage. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you share the same childhood wounding. Mm. What else is here? Yep. Somebody here needs to heal from a drug addiction. Many things are being healed here. Somebody here is also um, maybe ending something with a drug addicted stripper that's a family member. This person is a gold digging narcissist. And somebody here had an STD. So there was an ending. So you could be dealing with somebody here that has a drug addiction. It could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. But this person may have been a stripper or is a stripper. And or there could be a family member that's a stripper, but they're also a gold digger. And you're pissed off with them or they're pissed off with you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Capricorn? The love of your life, they betrayed you. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wants to reconcile with you. They could have betrayed you with an earth sign or either you did this to them. Somebody did it with nasty sex. I like it nasty, nasty. And yeah, there's a soulmate twin flame here that loves you and you love them. But somebody used somebody like a sugar daddy. Somebody here was hiding their emotions that there was a potential for dark magic. Or somebody was hiding their emotions that they loved you and somebody was using dark magic. Could have been somebody that you had a one night stand with. It could have been a water sign that you needed to protect your energy from. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, like yourself. Yeah, somebody was lying and betraying somebody with some passionate lovemaking outside of the relationship. Somebody here is also, I told you, somebody here <laughs> got polyamory, that swinging shit. Somebody is hiding that they're undercover, bisexual, or gay. <clears throat> For some of y'all, y'all already know this shit. But somebody here is lying about who they're having sex with. Somebody here could be lying that's gay, that they're sleeping with someone that's straight. This person could be trying to go straight. For others of you, this is someone that's straight and is lying that they are sleeping with the same sex. Take it how it resonates, ma'am. Tell me about the three of swords. Somebody is reaping what they sown. This could have taken place last fall. Somebody that says they love you. Somebody used you like a sugar daddy or you did it to them. It could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes. The truth came out maybe about some candle magic for some of y'all. And for others of you, there was no candle magic involved. Somebody here also hurt somebody and betrayed somebody and got pregnant. And it could have been with a childhood sweetheart that was a best friend. Somebody went on a date. Somebody here used to put somebody on a pedestal, but there was a co-worker that was a third party to this situation. It could have been an Aries Taurus that was a side chick that you needed to protect your energy from, an Aries Leo, a Aries or a Taurus, or somebody that's older. They could be a boss, an independent contractor, a CEO. They could also be married. They don't have to be. They could have jits, jits, a.k.a. children. They don't have to. But this person usually is wise. They're stern. Um, this person knows how to take control. They know how to take power. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Capricorn. Yeah, somebody here is releasing a selfish ass Gemini Libra Aquarius. That was selfish, that had a drug addiction, possibly. Somebody here also 
um, is highly emotional about a water sign or they're releasing a water sign or you're releasing a water sign that sabotaged and betrayed you. Somebody here may go on a date night with a water sign. Somebody is still hiding that they're an undercover brother and sister and their uh, undercover brother or sister. There's an entanglement here with somebody that's hiding their bisexual because there's childhood wounding. Somebody here is a beard. They're married. They manifested this because of a sex addiction. This person was using this to hide their, their secret here. Somebody here is going to find some shit out in somebody's phone about a vacation. Somebody here that's mentally ill, they could be depressed. They could also be narcissistic. They're going to lie to you about staying at a hotel. This person and y'all have a commonality in its uh, mental illness. It could be a depression here. And somebody could also be uh, depressed about a divorce that they're getting because of a third party, drug addictions, homosexuality, bisexuality. Uh, transgenderism, somebody here is spying on somebody and there's a dead end because of an STD with a narcissist. Y'all got a lot going on here. Alrighty then. So tell me about, this is the ultimate betrayal. Somebody here was manipulative as fuck. It could have been a Gemini Libra Aquarius that got betrayed by somebody that says they were single, but they were actually married. I see two tens, three tens here. That's a harsh motherfucking cycle. Somebody could be seeing 10, 10, 10. Somebody here is receiving judgment. Somebody could have felt alone in a 10 of cups situation. Somebody here has also done the healing work in order to have a new love. Ace of cups, North Node energy. Tell me about Capricorn. Why is Capricorn here in Capricorn's reading, Holy Spirit? Came out that somebody was juggling. They put their divine counterpart on the back burner. Somebody felt like they could come back to you later. Somebody here was playing with a snake and they got lit up. Somebody caught that STD from playing with somebody and now they got regrets. Tell me about the two of pentacles here on the devil. Somebody sleeping around caught an STD. Yeah, some of you, you could have been dealing with... A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody that may have been a little younger than you that was juggling you or you were juggling them. Take it how it resonates. And somebody here has regrets because all the love from everybody been spilled. Tower moment. God stopped and blocked this person because this person needed to see things differently the, about a one-sided relationship. Why they were in a one-sided relationship. It was time for you to go within and gain inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. Somebody here could have also been in a one-sided relationship with a Virgo, or this could have been a one-sided friendship that somebody needed to see something from a different perspective because there is a friend here and somebody here got ghosted and somebody left a marriage because somebody was looking at a marriage, looking outside of their marriage as somebody that they may have gotten pregnant or they want to give a love offer to. Somebody may have been broke for the past seven years and it could be someone that gained truth and clarity that somebody was cheating possibly with a fire sign that was a stripper somebody here this stripper could be stalking and spying on somebody from a heartbreak three of swords four of swords so somebody lied deceived and betrayed their soulmate for another soulmate a past life soulmate they're all past life soulmates but this one could be a karmic and this one is the actual soulmate Eight of Cups, somebody, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from the wrong soulmate and somebody got hurt, ultimately. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. God stepped in on this shit. Yep, there's the King of Wands. Somebody got an STD. Somebody here is also hiding their, ooh, shit. Somebody is hiding their true feeling for another man. I got three motherfucking men here. <laughs> God damn it. I, I'm not making this shit up. Somebody here is married 
there could be three people that are fucking married here or somebody here. This motherfucker got a lot of swag. This motherfucker got a lot of money. This motherfucker worked for the legal system. Or this could be the same man all in, wrapped up in one. But there's no love here because I don't have the king of cups. I have the king of pentacles, the king of wand, uh, the king of swords, and the king of wands. Somebody here is money motivated. They could be a manipulator, a narcissist. They could be a bastard is what I heard. Somebody here is only focused on money. We could be dealing with a judge, a lawyer or somebody that works in law enforcement or has a very powerful position in what they do. But somebody here likes men and they like it raw. Ooh, shit. And this is where they get their true wish fulfillment. And this is somebody that you absolutely adored. Somebody here that's at a distance from you, they want to bring healing and balance. Or somebody here could be healing from a distance. Spirit said the truth came out about multiple options. And somebody here stayed stuck in a marriage that's going, that's ending. Somebody here took a leap of faith, possibly with an Aquarius. And this was a lesson for the Capricorn. Ooh, shit. That's interesting. Ooh, okay. Okay, Spirit. Y'all talking and I'm listening. Mm, mm, mm. So tell me about this nine of wands. What was all this pain about? Somebody here needed to see something. There's some delays because somebody here has regrets. Somebody regrets getting somebody pregnant and hurting somebody. Yeah, somebody here is discovering that there's a child here. Somebody here that was a snake could have been a Scorpio. I have a Leo here. Somebody here was a snake in love and kept somebody stuck and trapped. Could it be a Cancerian? Somebody here blocked their own fucking empress. Somebody, ooh, that was single, stable, and abundant. So somebody here was divinely guided to move forward from somebody that was holding on to a younger person. Somebody here also betrayed. Somebody did use dark magic to keep somebody stuck and resistant to change. Somebody here, there was an ending. Possibly to somebody suffering. Somebody here is supposed to go through a death and a rebirth or transformation. But somebody here been hiding that they've been fucking. I'm going to pull uh, some cards from my medical oracle deck. Because I do believe somebody here has a permanent STD. And I should have did it in a couple of other readings, especially with Gemini's. Gemini's reading came up kind of sort of like this. So some of y'all may want to go and check out Gemini's reading as well. I can't remember if you guys were in it or not. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is all of this ending here? Because somebody here was a liar, deceiver, and a Decepticon. Somebody stole, turned their back on somebody that stole time, money, love, and energy. Somebody here that's at a distance from you. You could be dealing with somebody here. Yeah, we got a south and a north node right there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, Gemini, Sagittarius. Leo, Aquarius. Aries, Libra. We got three north and south nodes right there. So somebody here is healing to go towards their north node. Somebody here at a distance sees somebody as their ultimate wish fulfillment. Somebody here that they betrayed by ma manipulation. Somebody here may have did this to somebody online. Somebody here is very slick at the mouth. They know exactly what to say. They have all the tools to betray somebody. Now they want to reconcile with somebody they see. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that's single, stable, and abundant, that's done the self-love and self-care. But this could be an ending here because I got three tens. Yep, this, could, this was a harsh cycle. Somebody here is about to receive love. Oh, there's the fourth ten. This is done. Somebody is receiving major karma. And I got Saturn right here because this was a major motherfucking lesson. 
about pride and ego with a divine masculine that couldn't keep his dick in his pants. But his bitch couldn't keep her pussy in her damn drawers. Somebody walked away from a goddamn nasty ass player that's being abandoned and left out in the fucking cold. Yes, sir, baby. Somebody here is getting their asses handed to them. And I might only be picking up one motherfucking person's story, but somebody here... Mm-hmm. You teabag somebody, somebody teabagging the fuck out you. You getting exactly what you gave back to somebody else. There's some fuck shit here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Somebody is trying to heal for all the lies, deception, and betrayal here. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody is leaving their South Node and going to their North Node. Somebody here is healing from... Either some type of work accident. Somebody here could also be receiving workman's comp. Somebody here could have got injured on the job. Somebody is also healing from a third party, or open marriage, or open relationship. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo like yourself, or a Gem or a Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody here was only focused on money. Somebody here was also hiding their emotions for a King of Wands, male or female. But I got two men here, or like I said, this could be three. All wrapped up into one. And there's no love here. There's only illusions. Somebody here is hiding their emotions for somebody. Tell me about... Somebody could have hidden emotions for the same sex. And they're lying to their spouse about this shit. There's a lot of duplicity here. I, I feel like I'm talking to somebody here. That's a major... They're a part of the LGBTQT. IA community. Somebody here, there's too much deception for them to continue in this beard marriage or this relationship, whether it's known or hidden, but there's too much betrayal here. Tell me about the uh, Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for Capricorn? Somebody here hurts you out of their pride and ego. This person is a groupie. They need attention. This person is an intention seeker. Somebody could be healing from somebody here that receives a lot of um, attention on social media. Somebody here also was hiding. Um, Tell me about the moon card here, Holy Spirit. Why is the moon card here for Capricorn? Nope. Let me try it, though. Tell me about the moon card. Justice hasn't been served. Somebody here is hiding that there's still an unjust situation. Somebody here at a distance. Justice hasn't been served here for somebody that's at a distance from you. Somebody here that gets a lot of attention. Somebody here could be, um, has a public platform. Justice has not been served. Yeah. Somebody here. There's something unjust about the legal system here too. Something here hasn't been, justice hasn't been served for a karmic masculine here that betrayed you or you betrayed them. This person that's official, this person is a liar, a deceiver, a Decepticon. This is somebody, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Let me get into this shit for real because I see something here that's wrong. Somebody here is a liar. Somebody here that could be an official person. They may work for the justice system, but this motherfucker is a liar. Somebody here could also be military. They could be high ranking. And somebody here is having a fall from grace. Somebody was planning on doing something taboo here. And they were hiding it. What are they hiding, Holy Spirit? Somebody is, is coming out. Somebody here is a drug dealer. Somebody works for the justice system and they're a drug dealer. And somebody here has been selling drugs that's military. Somebody here that's a bad person. There's also a warrant for their arrest. This motherfucker is running from justice. 
And it could be an Aries, Taurus energy, a divine masculine. This is a part of their soul contract. Somebody here is also into prostitution and they have court cases. Somebody here, it was time for a change. Somebody took a risk. This motherfucker could be gang member, gang affiliated. Let's go again. Somebody playing motherfucking games, but I'm not. You can't play with my motherfucking collective and think that I'm not going to look into your ass. Yeah, there could be two or more partners in crime. This could be a Bonnie and Clyde situation because I have a husband and wife right here and somebody here. Yeah, they could be first and third, second and 35th field artillery. Somebody here is also in the military for fucking sure. Somebody here is, somebody here is concerned about their motherfucking reputation, their job. There's also a hidden pregnancy here. Somebody is waiting. There's some information about this shit. This shit is about to get blown the fuck out the water. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Stop playing. Yeah, somebody here may have a house on the beach. Or, ooh, shit. There's a rape charge here. There's fraud. So somebody here, there's some type of fraud. There's some type of money laundering. Some type of credit card scams. There's some type of, there's definitely money um, fraud here. Somebody here has a rape on video. Fuck. Somebody here that was buried underground. They're being released. There's a karmic partner that's coming out of this fucking situation. There's a karmic daughter here, or there's a daughter that was fucking raped by their own goddamn father. And there's some shit here that's coming out about a fucking vehicle. All the goddamn signs were here, and somebody failed to look at it. Somebody here that's got a lot of motherfucking power and money has been paying a con man to do some shit here. Somebody's son has ran the fuck away because somebody knows about all the fucking dark black magic. Somebody here were good enough was never enough. It was all behind greed. Somebody here is also using somebody that this motherfucker is a part of a sex trafficking ring and they choke the fuck out of somebody. And this is all behind money. Oh, shit. Somebody ain't right here. Give me more Holy Spirit on this bullshit here. There's a mature woman here. What about this fucking mature woman? This occupation, whatever the fuck she's involved in, somebody here is going to jail. And there could be a privileged lady that's getting a motherfucking divorce from this goddamn military nigga. So there, show me the energy, the rest of the story here, Holy Spirit. Yep, jail time. This motherfucker running from the law, but you can't. Somebody going to be extradited back to where the fuck they started this bullshit from. And they are in bad fucking health. This whole fucking situation is in bad health. There's a child involved in this shit. Somebody here has been working on trying to move and relocate. Somebody is about to be broke as a motherfucking joke. And this is a third party situation. Somebody got a couple of court cases. And the community knows how they've been getting their motherfucking money. This man male and this fucking false bitch. Somebody here got a gift that keeps on motherfucking giving. Let's talk about the goddamn shit. Let's talk about it, Holy Spirit. But I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of this shit first. But I thought I would get into this a little bit for some of y'all. This ain't going to resonate for all of y'all. But God damn it, this is somebody's story. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Ooh, shit. Somebody here is going to be receiving karma. Every motherfucking thing you done to me already done to you, bitch. Every goddamn thing you touch going to fucking fail. Wheel of Fortune in motherfucking reverse. Ooh, shit. And somebody here is no longer afraid to move away from this goddamn badass situation. Somebody here has released their fears and they're taking passionate action to get the fuck away from somebody that's causing nothing but goddamn burdens in their life. Somebody here that's receiving major motherfucking karma. And it could be this king of swords, this motherfucker that's in the military. They're only focused on finances and sticking their dick in another nigga's ass. The truth is coming about and somebody here is in motherfucking regret. I may have to do y'all a whole nother reading, Capricorn, because this is some shit. Show me the uh, shit here that's going on medically. This is the spiritual medical report. There it is. Herpes. 
Somebody got fucking herpes. I told you. Somebody here is vomiting too. Somebody is sick as a motherfucking joke. And it's deeper than that. Somebody here may have gotten somebody between the ages of 22 to 32 pregnant. Somebody that can't sleep. What's underneath vomiting? Somebody got warts, possibly. And a fever. Tell me the medical report here for the divine Capricorn. Holy Spirit. What is the medical history here? Somebody here, there may be some nerve damage from the past. Somebody could also have a cold. Somebody here is definitely bipolar. This is a mental disorder. Somebody could have liver problems from drinking. I heard hepatitis too. Yeah, cardiovascular disease. So somebody might have a heart attack here. Somebody here needs a tetanus shot. Somebody here also has motherfucking syphilis. Let's get it on out. Somebody here could also have suffered from a brain injury. What else is here? Somebody here has a colicky baby from the past. Somebody here is also anemic. Somebody is not sleeping well. Somebody also has pelvic flam inflammatory disease and that fucking shit. All the shit that's out here on the board is damn official. Somebody may even have an eye injury. What's behind all of this shit that I just saw? Somebody could be being a little hysterical. What else is here, Holy Spirit? That could be me shit. There's some fucked up shit here. There's a car that's also involved here. Somebody here also had a burn. Somebody here could be trying to commit suicide. They want to have an overdose. And I did just see another STD popping out. PID. I'm going to take it too because it showed back <laughs> up. I saw it. Anytime I see some shit, don't think I'm going to overlook that shit. Somebody here, they may have an overdose. Somebody here could also be suffering from COVID. And there could definitely be a pregnancy here. What else is here? So that could be where the vomiting is coming from. Or the medication somebody is on and they have to take. Somebody here between the ages of 34 to 43, they could have some type of blisters. Somebody here may have had some convulsions in the past. Somebody here could have a leg injury. Somebody is definitely depressed. And they could have a baby that has the croup between the ages of nine, uh, zero months to a year I also am picking up and this may only resonate again for one person somebody here was doing a lot of illegal shit to pay for somebody's sex change that's not going to resonate for everybody this some hot garbage right here this is some hot garbage Somebody could also be discovering that their daughter is involved in something or somebody's daughter could have been put into human trafficking prostitution as well. What is the message here that my Capricorns need to hear, Holy Spirit? Somebody is trying to place the blame on somebody else. Somebody don't want to take accountability of how they've been getting their money. Yeah, somebody here is jealous of somebody. Somebody here could have been attacking somebody's health through their dream state. And it um, all of this is behind fear of a relationship that's growing into something more. Somebody's pride and ego got in the way. Somebody is jealous of a divine connection here. And they've been doing all of this bullshit in order to have it. Yes, yeah, somebody that's in service that's to receive abundance. Somebody here that they want to reconcile with. They see this person receiving gifts from God. Give me more from my Capricorns. Some of y'all got new love coming in. I could be picking up multiple messages, y'all. So only take what... Uh, resonates with your story somebody here regrets they actually have remorse for the way they treated you there's no stability here in this relationship and this could have been in the past 
Some of y'all need to get off of the computer. This could have been where the uh, fraud was done. Somebody could have been doing online fraud on their computer. And if you did, your IP address is going to be um, pinged. And they already know who you are. If they don't know who you are, they will know. Let's see. Tell me about this computer. Somebody good could be being hacked. Yeah, the spirit realm is protecting this person. Somebody has been hacking somebody's computer. That's a good person. The angel of death is on the person's ass that's been hacking. Somebody here is trying to hide that they're going through karma. Bitch, your shit is going public. The plans that you made, that you did behind somebody's back. Oh, there's a body here too. Somebody is in major trouble. Time apart is needed. Tell me more about this computer, Holy Spirit. Somebody has been attacking somebody that gets a lot of attention on social media and somebody don't want you to talk about the shit that you've been doing. You've been hacking people's shit. Your ass is about to be exposed. Somebody here is no longer in mental prison about your bullshit. They're over it. Yep, I told you your shit is coming out, bitch. You're going to make the news. You're going to make the six o'clock news. Somebody here that's salt and peppered, either you're the person that's been being attacked or either you're the motherfucker that's going to jail. Take your pick. And somebody knows they can't escape this bullshit that they have done. This is fucking blood money. Somebody here, there's proof and there's evidence. Somebody here has undergone multiple transformations. Somebody here has also, there's been multiple attempts on somebody's life. And it could be a family that did this. Or this could be a pattern in a family situation. There is also somebody here that's being held against their will. And there's a lawyer here that knows about it. This lawyer could be... An accident lawyer or this lawyer could just be involved or this lawyer could be the one that's being blackmailed somebody here that took a risk likes to spend a lot of time at the casino they made a pact concerning a divine masculine somebody here is sitting in a body of water a lake or a pond and this is all behind a lover there might be a body that's gonna get exhumed out of this shit as well uh, Capricorn your reading is a little goddamn explosive baby I didn't know all of this shit was gonna come out but I have to give you what I know. Let me pull some names for y'all. All right. Let me pull some names for y'all right quick. Let me see what the fuck comes out out of this shit. Didn't I tell y'all somebody's email? Somebody here has been hacking somebody. Somebody that's been on probation before. So this may be the person that's military or ex-military. <coughs> Somebody here, their probation is about to be revoked. Somebody is going to face up to 10 years. Somebody here could also be pregnant. Somebody here is definitely wanting to commit suicide. Somebody is also fucking with an undercover cop and don't even know it. Ooh, shit. Holy Spirit, give me some names of the people that are involved in this. I got an M. I got an O. I got to end. Something could have taken place on Monday. Give me some of the names of the people involved. Ooh, somebody here may have ran into some problems with a sky marshal in the past. Somebody's name here is Maurice Jonathan. I have destiny. Oh, shit. Somebody's first name could start with a C. We may also have a Don here. I got Mun. M -O it could be on a Monday. Somebody's name could be Don. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody's could be not Don. Somebody, there could be a Din here. Somebody here is definitely a Con. And somebody here needs a bond.
Somebody definitely did something bad here. I got BAD. Undercover cops, male or female. Somebody is fucking with an undercover cop and don't know it. Somebody's name could be Stony. Somebody's name could be Mario, Paul, Rolo. I got Stuart. I got Amanda. I got Perry. I got Mona. I got Antonio. What is this trying to jump out? Joaquin. I wasn't expecting y'all reading to be this big uh, Capricorn. All right. We have Anthony. We have Suki. We have Charity. Somebody might need some help. I see a Geraldine here too. Is there anybody else here that needs to come out? Holy Spirit. Thank you for these messages. Yeah, somebody here has definitely done something illegal for sure. And the undercover cop came out. Children's social services are here. Neglect children advocate. There's also a dismembered body here. Multiple options used to hide human remains. Oh my fucking God. This somebody's bed also smelled like fucking sex. Somebody, and it could be any of these names that I call. Somebody here named could be Thomasina as well. Is there anything else here? Anybody else's name here, Holy Spirit? Maria. Only take what resonates as your story collective. I have Victoria. I have Alyssa. One more round, Holy Spirit. I have Johan. I have Erica. I have Stacy. Bestiality is here too. The fuck? Perry is here too. At the top. Underneath it is Pierre. Butt, dick, and pussy. Badussy. At the back. And the bottom of the deck. And all of this could have took place in June or somebody's name is June. Family, let me give y'all uh, a message here from this oracle. Messages from my divine Capricorns. I see the twin flames here. Somebody here is going through a major transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms, transforms all things. This is a twin flame dynamic. What is at the bot? Life is a series of constant, constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. What is in the back? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept the things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that is, which is beyond. Family, this has been y'all's reading. I'm sorry that it was so heavy, Capricorn. Um, but it takes, it took two days just for me to get three videos uploaded. This is what I mean by when I say people be fucking with my channel and trying to shadow ban me because I'm speaking too much fucking truth. But I'm not going to stop speaking my truth. They done tried to shut my damn throat chakra down, every damn thing. But I'm not, I'm here for it. So if you think you're going to fucking best me, you got life fucked up. Because God put me on this goddamn platform and ain't nobody taking me off but goddamn God and my ancestors. So for all of those, those motherfuckers that's out here doing this fuck shit, y'all can kiss my ashy kneecaps. Because I ain't with it. I'm here for it. Because I'm going to give you nothing but the fucking truth. Family, this has been your reading. If anything, thank you, Holy Spirit. If anything here resonates for you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That way you'll receive all the latest content that I upload and deliver to this channel. Yeah, the ticking time bomb done explode. There could be a karmic daughter involved as well. The videos is coming out about a rape. Oh my God, this is motherfucking crazy. And this could have been done either at the beach or somebody's beachfront home or somebody's trip to the beach. 
Or somebody took this body to the beach to try to dump it off. But in any event, family, um, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, uh, go to the About section of my YouTube channel. There you will see my email address, twinflames with a Z 144 at gmail.com. There I will upload um, my price list. You pick a time that sets your price. You pick a price that sets your time. Simple as that. And we'll schedule your reading. All right. So in the meantime, I want y'all to be careful because somebody here is dealing with a real piece of work. As is all, yeah, there's that sex industry, prostitution. There's a warrant for somebody's arrest or there will be in the near future. So y'all take, take care. Y'all stay safe and stay the fuck out the way and let God do his damn job. And your ancestors, because somebody here needs to be brought to justice because justice has not been served yet. Somebody here is running from the fucking law. And somebody here has some hidden emotions about somebody that's getting a lot of attention. They're getting a victory. Somebody that they absolutely adore, but this person failed to show up and tell them the truth about what they really felt. So this person continue to go in the opposite direction of where they were supposed to be all behind a fucking third party and some toxic behavior patterns and addictions codependencies god bless them god help them because that's who's going it's going to take to help this person somebody here is finna sit in jail family until the next reading i wish you guys nothing but peace health wealth happiness abundance joy and love in every aspect of your life y'all stay blessed and take care